city building has traditionally tended to be very uh, male heavy or male dominated, so really it's about women helping women. Probably every few weeks someone is Someone has sent my way somehow looking for career advice and I always make time. I, I love making the new connections. There are other women's organizations that do amazing work. But for the ULI network, this was a first and we had women joining ULI and I think men too, joining because the women's leadership initiative was there. The great thing is that it shines a spotlight on women leaders and, and on uh, you know, accomplished women in real estate. Hope to see more women, um, more black and racialized women who are really part of the sector and um, particularly in leadership roles. I think that would be really important. I think for with um, WLI, I, I think specifically there's there's an opportunity even in our conversations when we had the podcast to think um, more broadly about you know how we're kind of defining gender and, 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 and gender representation and sexual orientation. I'm so thankful to the women who have always helped me through my career that I want to be sure that I can continue to do that for others. And I find both ULI and WLI as a great conduit to help me reach those people to be able to act, act as that sounding board or give advice um, and to give back truthfully.